Today I'm going to be working on this power supply for a PS2 or fat PS2. It's not really a fat edition, just a fat PS2. Model number uh, 39001. And it seems to be a very common problem with these, uh, power, with these PlayStation 2s where the power supply goes bad. Um, I've been doing some research, reading, watching, and this seems to have the same problem as most of the other ones do where it's one of the capacitors that's bad then it's to be swapped out and or it could be this one here i think it's called an octocoupler or it's a photo some type of, of ic photo sensor ic uh sorry if i don't have the correct terminology uh but it could be this i think this is what bridge is the primary to the secondary so we have power going in but there's nothing going out and I've already checked the fuse. Uh, that seems to be okay. Let me just make sure. Okay, that fuse is good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and check and see where the problem could be. Um, I could have easily bought a power supply off, you know, eBay and, or Amazon, but I wanted to challenge myself you know, try to fix it by either swapping out a component or whatever the problem could be. So that's going to be today's goal. And then um, once it's fixed, we'll put it into the system and see if there's anything else wrong with it. Uh, so let's get started. So let's start with plugging it in and just confirm uh, that we don't have any voltage going out. So let me grab the power switch right here. Let me get my meter too. Let me make sure it's. I'm gonna bring the big boy today because this one lets me measure um, resistance. I also have this other one here. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. This one works good too. Haven't had any issues yet, so we'll we'll see how that works. And I also have an ESR me uh, ESR meter uh, to test some of these capacitors to make sure that we have all good capacitors. I'm leaning towards it being a capacitor, so I ordered a capacitor kit um, in anticipation of it being a, a capacitor. So let's get started. Too much talking, not enough action. So let's go. All right, let's plug it in. It is off. Uh, like, uh, like that. Okay, so it's gonna go hot. Let's go. All right. So first of all, let's make sure that we have power going into the board itself. So let's go to AC. And we'll just, let me get out of the way. Uh, let me get out of the way. We have, we have no power. Is it on? It is on. Oh, well, I would need to plug it in to get power, right? So let me plug it in. Let me turn it off and plug it in so it doesn't surge. Okay, now it's plugged in and let's go hot. Okay. So we have 122 coming in and we have, I think, yeah, this is my negative. I think pins, uh, I think this is 12 volts, 12 volts, negative, negative. So we have two 12 volt lines going out uh let's go from here to here let me go ahead and put on dc from there to there nothing from there to there nothing and just to make sure ah. from here to here nothing and from here to here nothing okay so it's it is dead so the problem is somewhere on the board obviously all right uh next thing i'm going to check is let's see if we have any power on the um on any of the uh, voltage regulators so let me switch back to dc or we are in dc uh, and let me ground this real quick put the put that there so it'd be easier for me to check and let's check and see how much voltage we have here we have 31 volts going in 
and how much going out. Thirty-one. So we have thirty-one in, thirty-one out. Okay. Anything on this side? I doubt it. No. So we have voltage going all the way through here up to here, and that might be a problem there. I'm thinking this fuse could be the issue. I mean, this fuse, this this capacitor could be the issue because we do have thirty-one volts going through. So let's go ahead and turn it off and check the components themselves let's take this off and the reason why it's dangerous to work on power supplies is the capacitors they hold a voltage and if you discharge it while holding it it will shock the hell out of you um i have a discharge tool for that but right now we only have 76 volts and going down, but there's 76 volts in this capacitor right now. And we probably, if we put, if we would have left it there a little longer, it probably would have uh, charged or stored more voltage. I've seen those things store um, 120 volts, 130, 140, the bigger ones. So uh, just be careful. So to do that, I have a, a discharge pen here that I purchased, and all you do is just this keeps it from sparking when you're when you're shorting out the leads and like i said i hate that i hate being startled i hate being jump scared so we just connect it the led is going to turn turn red to show that it's discharging and once it's done discharging it'll turn off so i even marked it how positive and negative or <laughs> negative and positive and just do this do that i don't know if you caught that or not but it showed that uh it was discharging the light was red for a couple of sec for about a second. I keep it there for, I'll keep it here for just a couple more seconds, and then we could test it again to see to double to make sure that it did discharge. And we had seventy something volts. Let's see how much we have now. One point two volts, and at this point, it's safe enough to to um. If, I mean, that's safe right there. There's, you're not going to get electrocuted with one volt. You, if you want to, you could just do this again. Keep it there for a few more seconds. I don't know, maybe another 10 seconds or so. And we should be in the millivolts now. Or at least less than a volt. Uh, we, right now we're at 0.8 volts. And if you want to be extra, because we love being extra on this on this on this channel, just short it out. At this point, it's not gonna it's not gonna arc. So, and then we'll be down to almost nothing, fifty millivolts. So there you go. That was like five minutes of unnecessary information, but I just want to make sure you guys are safe. Um, it sucks being electrocuted a lot. Um, okay, so now that that's done, let's check the. Let's check the capacitors. So C1, this capacitor here, C1 is 330 microfarads, 315 volts. And if we go to here, oops, I need to switch this over to this side. I should have, I think I'll use my ESR meter uh, for this. The only thing that sucks about the ESR meter is that the leads are, the leads are very short. Uh, but let's see what we get with this. So this one should be a 330. Let's see what it measures. It's kind of low, huh? I don't know how, how accurate this, this uh, meter is. C1, yeah, C1 should be 330. Let's see. That might be our bad capacitor then. Let's check with this one. Uh, 330 right there. Let's check what this one says. Zeroed out. Yeah. All right. So positive, negative. Oh, this is more accurate. This is 323. So we know that's good. 
Uh, just, just to be safe, let me grab a capacitor from my kit here. Uh, we'll grab, uh, we'll grab this one. No, let's grab a bigger one, so that way it's easier to, to see what the, what it is. Uh, so this one is 680 mic microfarads, 16 volts, so 680. Let's see what this measures. Uh, maybe I can put it in here. So positive and negative, let's see. Six fifty, close enough. So yeah, this is this is accurate. Okay, cool. Uh, Six eighty is this one. I forget what the tolerance. I think it's a tolerance is what uh, plus or minus five, three or five percent. Of I should know that, but I don't. Sorry. Okay, so that one's good. Now let's test these other ones. So let's turn it turn it over because I can't get to these capacitors from the top. Um, you know what I'm gonna do. Just make it easy on me, um, so I don't have to be turning this back, oh, you know, over so many times. Uh, this one seems to be this is the negative right here, negative, and that that's that's the other lead. And then for this one over here, which ones are they? Uh, I believe it's this one, and the negative one is this one there and then all these are that's pretty easy okay cool just for me so i don't have to be doing this every single time to try to figure out what what lead is what lead all right this is where this comes in handy um because it gives it enough room for you to be able to uh turn it over and not have to deal with it being unstable so the first one was, or is, where's my mark at? Got a glare and I can't see it. I see this one here. And this other one is over here. Okay, I see it now. I thought it was, I thought it was a component, a component, a component. It's in the actual mark itself. Right here, negative. God dang, I can't see shit. Okay, here we go. So here and here. So that capacitor, and I just, I just, is C20. So C20, this one should be 220 microfarads. And then this one over here, C3 is, you know, look in there. You kind of see some, the circle here, like this, this one might've peaked already. Uh, C3, that one should be 33. So C20 and C3, okay. So C20 and C3. Uh, so, all right, 22 and 33, okay. So where are we, where are we, where are we? Right here and right here. Let's see what we get. Fudge, here we go, right here. Dude, right here and right here. Okay, we have 22 microfarads, good. And then the next one is 33 microfarads right here. So right here and right here. Zero. Zero. Let me make sure that's the correct one. That one there. No, that's not the correct one. It's below that. It's this one and this one. This one and this one. My bad. Not that it matters, it's still zero. Let me see if I have the correct polarity. Yep, that's negative. So that might be a problem right there, that capacitor. It doesn't measure anything. Let's check these over here. So uh, these are 680 microfarads and this one's 470 microfarads down here. Six eighty. Six eighty. Okay, so six eighty, six eighty. This is four seventy. This should be four seventy, not six eighty. Let me double check. Might have 
does it matter? That's where I was a little bit confused. It are these con these are connected in parallel, right? So d is that going to give me a false reading? It does show something for a brief second and then it goes away. You see that? But I mean, I would have to take him, take him out of the circuit to test, but I might have to do that. I'm going to replace that first capacitor and then if these don't work and then if it still doesn't work, I'll, I'll have to take these out of the circuit. But before I do that, I know you guys are yelling at the screen right now. Bear with me. Let's test it with the ESR meter. So uh, this is my negative here. Ouch. Sorry for bumping to the, into the camera there. Have a good connection there. First, let me make sure that it is zero. It, it is zeroed out. Hopefully, you guys can read that. Um, if not, I'm sorry. Zero out. Okay. Connect my negative. Uh, I'll probably get it from up here. Let me make sure it doesn't block the view. Okay, we're good there. So let's see what this one says. So this one should be. Did I say 470? Good if, if, is that a lower, lower than 470? And these should be 680. Good cap with low ESR. Good cap with low ESR. Good cap with low ESR. And this one is good with low ESR. This one's the one that has me a little worried. Let me leave it there for a second. Make sure I have a, a nice connection. Good if C, if capacitor, if C is less than 470 microfarads and that one is 470 is that less than yeah it is less than right no yeah it is less than oh man i need to go back to school and that one is 470 so that one could be ready to go and we might replace it unless uh, if you guys could just tell me in the comments if I had to replace that, if I do end up replacing it, or if that was a good capacitor. I mean, I do have a capacitor, so that's not a big deal. I mean, it won't hurt to replace the capacitors either, right? It's not going to hurt it. Who knows how old these are? Yeah, good. If C is less than 470, it is 470. So that might be good. Uh, let's test this one over here. So this one and this one. Reading is overflow. So yeah, this one is bad. This one, this one just proved it. And where was the other one? The other one was over here. Uh, right here. Or do I have a bad ground here? I might have a bad ground. Let's do it like this. This is why I, I, I'm not a big fan of this specific this leads are too short and if you put longer longer uh leads on there it won't read because the leads are too long so let's see if i could do it like this like that and like that come on bad cap with high esr so this is a bad cap and let's test this one over here uh this one was right here like this Good if C is less than 200. Let me see. Make sure I have the correct. It's making good contact. And this one is, what was it? C what? C20 is 22 microfarads. And what did it say? Good if, if it's under what? I forgot already. Yeah, so that one's good. And the last one is this one here. So let's plug in our positive first so it doesn't 
if it's discharged, it doesn't. No, actually, you plug in your ground first, so it does. You don't ground it out yourself. Good cap with low ESR, so that one's also good. So we've tested all the um, all the caps, at least the electrolytic ones, and it tells us that this one is the bad one. So with that said, let's do some desoldering. And I did buy because I'm a gadget geek. I'm a gadget whore. I did buy a, a um, the cheaper end desoldering a desoldering iron this one so we'll see how it works there's the uh it i mean based on what i read it seems to uh work pretty good we'll see how it works with me though i'm pretty sure that the problem isn't going to be the iron it's going to be the operator but we'll find out let me plug it in let it warm up All right, uh, where is the first one? Right there. Let me make sure. Yeah, we'll find out in a sec. Man, this thing's pretty hot. Give it a few seconds. I didn't activate it. Wow, it did work. I think wait for it to cool down a bit and then we'll add a little bit more flux and uh Jesus, that's a problem i can't see any better angle god dang it jesus jesus hopefully my head's on my head's on the way There you go, that's what I wanted right there. Let me just looks like it's 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 good to go. I think I, I felt it fall. Not fall, but kind of give. Let me do this real quick. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it did its thing. sure did okay so let's put this baby in there it is 33 let's double check 33 35 volts 33 35 volts okay cool Spark a quest for a sight. Retro dreams capture my heart. Pixelated vibes, close playing a part. Bring back to life, time with the start. Riding the digital way for long time. Seeing the past from circuits and light. Time rewinds on my hands, feel the thrill. A many up chasing the skill. True things as I see. With every white side, the memories blossom in my workshop with tools and dreams, cracking codes where the stout your beans. Love to love it till I breathe life anew. Truth makes this journey a passion so true. With every side of jars I resonate, bringing back a taste that they never fade. And on this channel, those moments revive. Tune in, watch the past come alive. Truth makes us not see. Alrighty, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's see if all of our all of our troubleshooting paid off. 
I hope it did <laughs> for my own self-esteem. Uh, let me grab my meter. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this on DC since we're going to check and see if we have the 12 volts coming out. Let's plug this baby in. Uh, power switch, power switch, power switch. And power. Okay, now this time I'll make sure I plug it in. Okay, and let's switch it on. Fingers crossed that nothing explodes. One, two, three. Oh, okay, good. Oh man, I was holding my breath. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna check to see if we have the 12 volts coming out. Uh, we're on DC. Okay, that lead there, good. All right, here we go. Man, I've never been so nervous. <laughs> okay, ground. And the first leg. Oh yeah, 12 volts, beautiful. All right, let's test the next one. And 12 volts there too. Oh, what the hell, we fixed it. All right, okay, well, yay, we fixed it. I mean, I'm actually shocked that I fixed it. Uh, let me turn it off. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna probably have to do another video for the reassembly of the PS2, because this one is gonna run too long if we uh, do everything in one. So come back for the second video where we're going to put it back together and see if there's anything else wrong with it. Hopefully there isn't. And well, in a way, I kind of hope there is so we could troubleshoot that too. But yay, you know, I actually was able to troubleshoot this and find out what the problem is, you know, thanks to thanks to the to these extra tools. But, you know, hey, uh, I mean, it helped. Uh, I, otherwise, I would have been blind. Um, all right, folks, again, thank you for for joining me. And well, before we leave, let me go ahead and, and discharge the capacitor before I forget. So this time you might be able to see it. I don't know if you guys saw it last time. I think that the uh, the LED was was um, facing away from the uh, from the camera. So negative lead, positive lead. You just go like this. And you pinch it and you hold it till it turns off. I'll leave it there for a few more seconds. And let's see what voltage we have. I just put my meter away. I hate when I do that. We should have about one and a half volts, maybe. Let's find out. We have... 1.7, close enough. I mean, we could continue to discharge it more if you want to, but that's safe. So with that said, thank you. Thanks again for for uh, watching uh, watching this far and if you enjoyed it please make sure that you like and subscribe if you wish and i will greatly appreciate that so uh right folks we'll see you next time hopefully it will be the uh ps2 ps2 reassembly video all right have a good one and stay safe <laughs>